Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the REC Foundation Vice President of Development and Marketing, Amelia Goling. Hello teams, my name is Amelia and it has been an amazing experience to be part of this one of a kind event. You guys have worked so hard throughout these few years and Drive for Competition is finally paying off. The VRC Middle School event was a must see, but now we are through the first day of Bex Robotics Competition High School and the intensity has been ratcheted up a notch. This morning, our division started off strong in the Science A division with a high score of 195. Science B, a high score of 187. Technology A, 147, Technology B, 178, Research A, 165, and Research B is 160. This morning, there were a staggering 20 teams that were undefeated. Even more unbelievably, Team 39Y in the Science B subdivision has a SP of 558 after playing their first four matches. The field is wide open and any team could still advance from their division. Next, I'd like to recognize a VEX World's favorite and one of the most competitive online challenges ever, the Promote Award. We were told girls can't do robotics, so we did, and we enjoy it. So let us tell you why robotics. Sit down. Does this machine look imposing? We made it. What about this? We built and programmed it. Gear trains, motors, axles, physics. The building blocks of this game changer. You say, making robots for a game is childish. We say, it is, until we use these same skills to change the world. Problem solving, the very basis of all innovation. Programming, building, laying strategies, and completing the challenge. And most of all, teamwork. VEX is our first steps in engineering. The first steps for women in STEM. At American High School, we use the opportunity VEX provides us to encourage other young women to pursue STEM careers. Why all girls, you ask? It's not easy being the only girl in a robotics team or in a computer science class or in the workplace. So we band together. Apart, we have our own focuses, but together we empower each other. We teach our skills to others, we grow from others' teachings. For us, robotics isn't just about being serious and competitive. It's also about community. After all, what's the use of being successful if it doesn't also help others? You say, so what? Vex doesn't benefit the real community. Guess what? We do. Our team provides STEM-related classes to our community. Through these sessions, we share our skills in robotics and programming with younger students, allowing us to make a greater impact. VEX is more than a game, more than a competition. VEX is bringing the change and being the change. Wow, great job team. Now let's take a look at the featured VRC High School LRS highlight of the day. Great work over in the Live Remote Skills Division. Now let's take a look at our featured LRT highlight of the day. Baby drivers doing what they do, stuffing that center goal with a gajillion game objects. 10 seconds left. They're putting their, all of their eggs in the proverbial center goal basket. There are 30 seconds left in this match. Team 1022 b Claremont Robotics scoring a red ball in center goal E. Their alliance partners in possession of a red ball heading over towards goal H. Across the field, team 277-2J, the metal benders, looking like they're lining up with goal. Oh gosh, um, I think that's C from this angle. There's five seconds left in this match. Three, two, one. That is it, folks. All right, we're gonna give our referees a second to review that footage. 
Seeing how teams have innovated and cooked up the best ways to tackle this year's game has been really cool to watch. Now let's recognize someone who, since its founding in 1932, has developed young students into work-ready graduates, our partner, Lawrence Tech. Lawrence Technological University is a small private university in Southfield, Michigan, about 15 minutes from the heart of downtown Detroit. Located in the nation's number one region for careers in areas like engineering and technology, Lawrence Tech has 2,000 undergraduate students studying majors in the College of Architecture and Design, the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Business and Information Technology, and the College of Engineering. Founded in 1932 and located adjacent to Henry Ford's Model T assembly plant, Lawrence Tech was home to students taught on the basis of theory and practice, which remains our motto to this day. Students receive a hands-on education in our state-of-the-art labs and studios, where they participate in industry-sponsored projects and real-world application-based research at the undergraduate level. Students also have the opportunity to participate in activities and competitions outside of the classroom to further their STEM exploration during their time at Lawrence Tech, like a group of our computer science students placing first for the third consecutive year in the self-drive challenge event at the annual Intelligent Ground Vehicle Competition with their autonomous campus transport taxi. VEX Robotics plays an instrumental role in preparing students for their upcoming college journey. We value all members of the VEX community and offer a Lawrence Tech Scholarship to those students that have participated during their high school career. We invite you to learn more about Lawrence Tech by visiting www.ltu.edu. In LRT, we played over 180 qualification matches, while in LRS, we've seen over 250 skills runs. There has been some fierce competition today. Join us again tomorrow for more action in the VRC High School LRT and LRS divisions. And be sure to join us bright and early for our morning check-in at 8.15 a.m. Central. Thanks again, and best of luck to all of our teams.